Hey guys, Josh from the Exotic Empire here, species index number three. Today we're going to cover this little guy. This is a Yunnan bamboo rat snake. Their scientific name is Oreocryptophis pultra. Um, so these guys are Southeast Asian species. Everything from this genus is found in Southeast Asia at mid to high elevation. Um, this is a small colubrid species. Cool temps, high humidity is the key to keeping these guys. Um, we don't let them get above like 74, 75 degrees. They stay on the bottom of our racks, no heat. Um, if they get up into the upper 70s, low 80s, they can die very quickly. So it's essential that they're kept cool at all times. Even a short heat spike can really cook these guys quick. Um, they're very, they're very, very sensitive to that, especially at this size. Um, too cold isn't really an issue for them. They can handle it down into the 50s, no problem. And actually, as adults, in order to get them to breed, you have to cool them down into the 50s for several months. Um, outside of that, humidity is important with them. Um, you'll see a lot of people keeping them on just an entire cage of like damp sphagnum moss. That can work. Um, my big suggestion with that is make sure you're changing sphagnum moss often. Sphagnum moss is a good breeder for bacteria. Um, if you don't clean your cage enough, bacteria will grow in the moss. You can, get, you can even get mold and stuff like that. So how we do it is just like this. I'll tilt you guys down so you can see. This is how we set up all our babies. Basically just paper towel. This is damp sphagnum moss in a deli cup and a water dish. Once a week we go through, we throw out the deli cup and the sphagnum moss, replace it with a clean cup and clean moss. That prevents any bacteria growth, anything like that. Nothing has time to take a hold and actually affect the animal. Um, at this size, I'm feeding them frozen dog pinkies. They typically eat pretty well right out of the egg. As you can tell, they're a little jumpy. Um, but these guys are really cool because they only get about two feet long. So it's not a species that's going to require much space at all. Um, I do recommend a rack system or tubs for these. I don't recommend like a glass aquarium. A PVC enclosure is also fine for these, um, but mostly just because you're trying to keep that humidity up. This setup has worked really well for us. Um, it kind of allows them to regulate their humidity by going in and out of the deck, in and out of the sphagnum moss as needed. Um, and you'll definitely notice that they kind of choose where they want to be as far as humidity goes. They do spend a lot of time in the damp moss, but I actually see them out of the moss quite a bit too. So I think it's important that they have a dry space to get to. Um, like I said, no heat. That's I can't stress that enough with this entire genus. None of them like heat. Um, so all of the species in this genus kind of fall under the same care. Um, I haven't noticed too much of a difference as far as care goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, right out of the egg, they usually eat frozen thawed. They're pretty easy. I think they're one of those species that the internet has kind of shied people away from because they do pose the challenge of liking it cool. But for all of us who just have like a, a house at a normal temperature in the low 70s, these are perfect. These are no drama at all. Um, but yeah, really, really neat. I'll try to give you guys a little bit better look. They have awesome orange bands that turns into a kind of like black stripe down their tail. And like I said, as an adult, only two feet long. Uh, really, really cool. And uh, several of these animals come from the same sort of range. Um, Yunnan is actually a big providence in China. It might be the biggest providence of China, I can't remember. Um, but Yunnan is kind of landlocked by mountains and rivers and things like that, where the animals are kind of stuck in one small area and one providence. And so they've actually over time become their own species, which is kind of cool. You see that with these, you see that with the beauty rat snakes too. Um, they've become their own species there and they're named Yunnan bamboo rat snakes for that. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to show this guy to you. Quick little highlight on them. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll uh, do my best to answer them. I'm far from an expert, but we have worked with quite a few of these and I really, really enjoy them. I think they're kind of underrated and I think people are kind of scared off of them by what they read on the internet. And I think for a mid to experience level keeper, these are an awesome addition to any collection. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And uh, if not, I'll catch you guys in the next one.